The Rakata Empire, also known as the Infinite Empire, was the first major galactic government in the Star Wars universe. It was the first known one, at least. It was founded and ruled by, obviously, the Rakata, a scientifically advanced species that used their knowledge to conquer and enslave other species throughout the known galaxy at that point, from the human race to the Sand People, a.k.a. the Tusken Raiders. It was one of the precursor governments to the Galactic Republic that would be founded in 25,200 BBY, um, around that point, after they had fallen. But many years before that, the Kawa, I think that's, I think that's pronounced right, um, was a force-sensitive reptilian species from the planet Dothamar, arrived to the Rakata homeworld through the Infinity Gate, and they unknowingly taught the Rakata about the Force, and the Rakata was a very aggressive species, so basically they founded their empire based on negative emotions, and, well, when you build an empire based off of negative emotions, that's not really a good idea. Now, obviously, the reason why they called themselves the Infinite Empire, because at that time, everyone thought, well, since they were the most advanced species, they're the most well-known ones, they're the ones that pretty much have control of the entire galaxy, the notion is that it's going to last forever. But, as everyone, as history has shown... Everything all falls to the hands of time. And an empire that is built on negative emotions, that eventually will lead to their downfall. Their empire was mostly built upon the creation of the Star Forge, which I explained in my Jedi Civil War was basically do whatever the hell the writer wants it to do. Um, where it would build this ultimate free fleet of ships and robots, basically an endless supply of it, and trying to build this empire based off of negative emotions, it led to their eventual downfall since the force-based technology they used was, well, since the Rakata used the dark side, also as I call it the negative side of it, of the force, um eventually began feeding off of their aggressive tendencies and created a dark energy that further corrupted its creators. And when they had pretty much galactic supremacy at this point, the rebellions began, like eventually there were rebellions starting and eventually a deadly plague struck them down and it was said it might have been created by one of the slave species, so basically it kind of fell like how the conquistadors eventually destroyed the Inca Empire, the Mayan Empire, and the Aztec civilizations. Like, they eventually fell because of disease as something that took them down. Like, they were already weakened by warfare, like the civil war that broke out between the Rakata Empire, the human and huge slave revolts throughout the borders... So, basically, the Empire eventually fell because it got too cocky and thought, well, we're the Infinite Empire. We're going to last forever. Like, I'm pretty sure, and history has shown, that that's the same mentality that the Roman Empire had, the Byzantine Empire had, the Soviet Union had, thinking that it's going to last forever. But really, eventually, it all falls down to the hands of time. And that's something that... Eventually, the Republic thought, and the Republic got cocky at around its late stages. Like, it thought it was going to last forever, since they thought they had the perfect government. And we all know how that ended for them. The Sith eventually took over. Well, everyone, this was Neo Reality Entertainment. These were my thoughts on the Rakata Empire. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate, and stay tuned for more.